everyone, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Horoscope. My name is Terence Scardino. The week begins on Monday, June the 4th, with the sun shining through Gemini for another couple of weeks. Uh, Gemini brings in a lot more socializing, more lightheartedness, lightheartedness, more playfulness in general. Just depends on where Gemini falls in your horoscope. And Mars is in Aquarius. It's going to go retrograde at the end of the month, June the 26th. So it's starting to slow down, which makes it a little bit more intense. So depending on where Aquarius falls in your chart, there could be a lot more stress or a lot more pressure to get things done. But we'll be talking more about that later in the month as Mars goes retrograde. Now, this week on Tuesday, the Sun is aligning with Mercury. It's a day that's really stimulating our minds, lots of decisions, lots of conversations, uh, good for studying. But on that day, the Venus, the planet of relationships and creativity, um, but Venus is in opposition or in confrontation with manipulative, powerful, transforming Pluto. This could be a day of intense passions. Um, then your mind is whirling with the Sun Mercury. What does all this mean? Um, it could be, on the other end of the spectrum, a day that you are having really intense conversations about your relationship and there might, and, it, and you're feeling this pressure that there's, it's being changed on you or you need to make some changes so it can, um, you know, break free from any kind of frustrations. Venus is also the energy of creativity. And you could be having a lot of inner struggle with any creative projects or if you are in collaborations with other people about which is the right way to go. By Wednesday, now communication Mercury and the Sun because the day before they were aligned. So there's this real focus on a lot of mental activity, a lot of communications. Those two planets are still pretty much uh, together by Wednesday, but now they're in a hard angle to Neptune. And this sun in hard angle to Neptune is, will happen four times a year. Um, Neptune is all this nebulous energy. When it's a hard angle to Neptune, there might be some disappointments, some confusions, maybe a bit of denial. The positive in Neptune can certainly be all this inspiration and imagination, but there's a certain amount of stress. Now, if we go back to Tuesday into Wednesday with creative Venus in conflict with Pluto, and now the Sun Mercury, in difficult angle to uh, imaginative Neptune, there might be a creative kind of crisis, um, feeling stuck, not sure which way to go. But when it comes to relationships and when it comes to having meetings and business meetings and discussions in general, that Sun Mercury in difficult angle to Neptune, there might be misunderstandings. Um, or uh, there could be that you're not speaking the truth or somebody or you are not getting all the right information because somebody is holding back information so the point is you certainly would not want to be making any important decisions promises um, signing contracts based on information that you may not have all the correct information um, so those are a couple of days you want to maybe be more wait and see, detach, see what's happening. Um, but for the most part, there's no other major planetary events uh, for the rest of the week. 
as that towards the end of the week we're winding down prior to the next new moon by midweek next week um, and the winding down always that last week before the next new moon it can be about bringing closure or um, to what we set into motion now from the last new moon um, or you're just or you've already all that already might have culminated with the full moon last week but now you're in a holding pattern is like when is something else going to start moving but you got to be careful about um, uh, meetings and decisions and agreements uh, particularly this uh, Tuesday and especially Wednesday I would give it a wait and see and not make any important decisions before I sign off I want to remind you that I'm available for that one question offer for a nominal fee and you can uh, get a direct link making it easy to uh, request your uh, your question um, there's a direct link in the description box underneath the video I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, have a great week.